Hello, welcome back to another video. Sorry, I haven't uploaded a vlog in a while. Also, make sure to wash your hands and try not to get sick from all the viruses and the virus going around. I'm no doctor or anything, but let's get right into the video. Make sure to like, subscribe for more vlogs and Fortnite news. But today, I have news on what is called the annual pass, which was supposed to be added by leakers. Supposedly found a couple weeks ago, and then it was removed. And then recently, it was brought back with more added to it. So initially, it was going to look like this when it would first be added. Um, it was going to look like that. Um, 2020 annual pass unlocked once you unlocked it, which leakers found. Um, and then also, there is this is the tweet that they that the leakers found. Um, and it says, here's how the Scrap 2020 annual pass feature was supposed to look like. Um, when you purchase it and then I have I have the clip um, that the leakers did and what it actually looked like and a real clip of it so I'm gonna roll the clip of it and I'll share my thoughts at the end sorry about the no audio in it So basically that was showing you what it would look like if you got it from before, with not with any of the new updates. And as you could see, what it would come with and what it would look like when you enter it on um, what it said. It gave you three things and one of the things is already out in the pickaxes. So this is interesting to me because if they bring it back in 2020, they probably changed it a lot. Um, but there's a chance they don't release it till next year, which, come on, Epic, we need something new. We need more bundles because maybe this game doesn't have a year. Maybe I'm being too, too, maybe I'm being too dramatic. But, um, yeah, um, I hope they bring it back, and I think a lot of people do. Um, a lot of the skins are good, especially, like, the new, I don't know how to say it, like, bomber skins or the bright bomber skins, something like that. And they look really clean, so... Um, hopefully that comes out, um, and if it does, can't wait to buy that and use it. Um, but yeah, Epic, come on, we need something new. Um, also, um, it's not a game for kids, really, but the new Call of Duty is out, and it says a lot of swears, so kids, if you do play it, turn the dialogue volume down so it doesn't say any swears and so your parents don't get you in trouble. I've heard a lot of YouTubers and streamers say that, um, if kids can play, but it's not a kid game in general, but I'm going to go check it out. Um, comment down below if you want to see a video of me making news on it, which I will already, and me playing it, maybe. Um, but, yeah. Also, there's one more thing to cover. Now, Fortnite has a downtime tonight. Um, by the time this video is uploaded, um, there's like a couple hours only left till the downtime. And tomorrow, I'll be covering a full video on what it did and um, the patch notes and everything. Um, and, yeah, tomorrow, also in the video, I'll be including more news on the Call of Duty and what streamers are thinking about it, but Ninja, um, a lot of the big streamers, um, finding this game boring and just playing Call of Duty. Um, also, if you want me to make a video on the Ninja in Reverse 2K situation, how they broke up as a duo partner, and who Ninja's new, new duo partner is for the FNCS tournament, I will make a video on that. Um, but yeah, I'll cover all of those things in the next video. Um, and last thing for this video is Twitch views for Fortnite has gone down. Even just chatting was doing better than Fortnite. Call of Duty is destroying right now. Big streamers like Tim the Tapman, Dr. Disrespect, um, um, Dr. Lupo, Ninja. Um, the game is killing it, and Fortnite's losing its viewers um, because people even say this game might take over, which it might, but... Um, this game, both of these games are really good at making new updates, new different things. Um, but yeah, I don't think Fortnite will die, but I think Call of Duty is going to have its fame for a while. And I mean a while because, um, people are having fun with it. Lots of people are even quitting competitive who they just think don't have a chance, um, to play other games because they say it's boring, too stressful. And that's also what Ninja said. He said the game is boring. It's too stressful to be in competitive. 
but now he's his new duo partner is Cypher PK, as we all know, and I will make a video on Reverse 2K and Ninja the Breakup thing. Then more news on Call of Duty, but yeah, that's basically it for the video today. Um, Fortnite, I'm sure we'll gain back the views. Hopefully, something new in the patch update tomorrow. That's it for the video. Make sure to like, subscribe. Tomorrow, I'll be covering Ninja Reverse 2K in the Call of Duty. See you in the next video. Stay safe from the viruses, and see you in the next one. Bye.